Hello friends, in this video lecture, we will see working of data link layer with its responsibilities and services. We are familiar with some facts related to data link layer. That data link layer is the second layer in the OSI reference model. It is the only layer that adds header that is H2 and trailer that is t2 to the data header in the data link layer contains source and the destination addresses of the frame that mac stands for media access control which is also known as physical address and trailer contains error detection and error correction bits this data link layer is responsible for moving frames from one node that is one hop to the next node that is moving frames between two adjacent nodes here in this diagram you can see sender side and the receiver side associated with data link layer that at sender side data link layer receives data from the network layer by means of interlayer communication and in last video lecture we have already seen that data in the network layer is known as packet here data link layer uses the services provided by network layer which is upper layer and data at data link layer is known as frame you have to keep in mind that data in the network layer is known as packet and data in the data link layer is known as frame after receiving data at data link layer it adds header h2 and trailer t2 to the frame and sends those frame to the lower layer which is physical layer by means of interlayer communication means here in this case we can say that data link layer which is upper layer provides services to the lower layer that is physical layer at receiver side data link layer receives data from the physical layer that is lower layer by means of interlayer communication means here in this case we can say data link layer which is upper layer uses the services provided by lower layer that is from the physical layer and after receiving data at the data link layer it removes header h2 and trailer t2 from the frame and sends the remaining data to the upper layer which is network layer by means of interlayer communication means in this case data link layer which is lower layer provides services to the network layer which is upper layer now let's see services or responsibilities provided by data link layer first one is the framing second one is physical addressing third one is flow control fourth one is error control fifth one is access control and last one and the most important is moving frame from one node to next node let's see all these one by one first one is the framing so data link layer divides stream of bits received from the network layer into manageable data units and those data units are known as frames next one is the physical addressing if those frames are to be distributed to different system on the network then data link layer adds header to the frame to define the sender and or the receiver frame 
and this is done with the help of 48 bits mac that is media access control address which is also known as physical address and if the frame is intended for system outside the sender's network then the receiver address is the address of the device that connects the network to the next node let's see there is sender in one network and there is receiver in another network and these two networks are connected by two intermediate nodes that is r1 and r2 so while sending data from this source to receiver here in this case physical address of the receiver will be the physical address of next node that connects to the network of receiver address now next one is the flow control flow control is nothing but rate of sending data should be lesser than or equals to the rate of receiving data and if the rate at which data are absorbed by the receiver is less than the rate at which data are produced in the sender then this data link layer implements flow control mechanism next one is the error control here in this regard data link layer adds reliability to the physical layer by adding mechanism to detect and retransmit damage of the lost frames and it also uses mechanism to recognize duplicate frames and it is normally achieved through trailer added to the end that is t2 we have seen in the previous slides now next one is the access control here in this regard when two or more devices are connected to the same link which device has control over the link at any given time is determined by data link layer let's say you are having multi station access unit and you can have number of devices here if there is common link for sending data from this sender to the destination so in this case to which device control should be given is determined by data link layer and determination of access control is done with the help of data link layer protocols at any given time now next one is hope to hope delivery that is node to node delivery we can say here in this diagram you can say there is end system a which is sender wants to send data to f which is receiver here in this case communication at data link layer occurs between two adjacent nodes that is communication between a and b communication between b and e and communication between e and f means to send data from a to f three partial deliveries are made that is data link layer at a sends frame to data link layer at b through physical layer of a and physical layer of b here physical layer of a is connected with physical layer of b either through wired medium or wireless medium then data link layer at b sends new frame to data link layer at e like this data link layer sends frame to physical layer of b and physical layer of b is connected with physical layer of e that is next node and physical layer of e sends data to data link layer of e through vertical communication that is interlayer communication and data link layer at e sends new frame to data link layer at f 
थ्रू फिजिकल लेयर ऑफ ई एंड फिजिकल लेयर ऑफ एफ आफ्टर रिसीविंग डेटा एट फिजिकल लेयर डेटा दैट इज फ्रेम इज रिसीव हेयर एट दी डेटा लिंक लेयर ऑफ एफ सो फ्रेम्स दैट आर एक्सचेंज बिटवीन थ्री नोट्स हैव डिफरेंट वैल्यूज इन दी हेडर That is frame from A to B has B as destination address and A as source address like this. Frame from B to E has B as source address and E as destination address. That is destination address of next hop or the next node and frame. from e to f has f as the destination address and e as the source address and communication between two adjacent node is known as hop to hop communication between a and b that is hop to hop communication between b and e that is hop to hop and communication between e and f that is hop to hop or node to node and values of the trailers can also be different if error checking includes header of the frames in next video lecture we will see physical layer thank you for watching stay connected here with this channel for more such videos Thank you